express uh, we will be explaining this one through a small tutorial so how to uh, how to use the multisim software we are going to see here and what is the aim of the multisim software so if you see here the multisim teaches the students the fundamental concepts in analog and digital uh, and power electronics through a engineering and science curriculum throughout your engineering and science curriculum so here a student even can design a circuit and he can do the analysis of the circuit which is related to your analog or digital and power electronics so this tutorial will introduce the multisim interface so what we are going to do is i would like to explain how your software is going to work whenever i open a software what are the different the things which are found in the software and how to design a small circuit that is what we are going to discuss today now what are the assumptions uh, we are making uh, whenever we are designing <coughs> uh, whenever we want to use a multi sim software the first assumption what we need to have is to have your multi sim version 10 installed on your computer first thing and uh, next uh, you can start the program successfully and third one is whenever you are asking about a click that means the left click with the mouse or other pointing devices and uh, fourth one is like if you want to have a right click or double click you will be instructed to do so means if you are going for just like your mouse which is there on your computer so like if you have a left click that means it will select and if you have a right click it will show the instruction what to do so the again 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 i need to select the same instruction is it right so now if you open the multi sim software you can see this window which is appearing uh, as first one so i can divide uh, this window into three parts one is called as toolbar the second one is called as circuit window third one is called as a design toolbox so if you see here toolbox a toolbox consists of the main toolbar and uh, the component toolbar and the devices toolbar and uh, coming to the circuit window if you see a circuit window where actually i will be designing my circuit if i want to design a circuit what are the components i am getting from the component toolbar that i will be placing in the circuit window and i will be connecting the circuit to the devices which are shown in this toolbar and i will do the analysis and coming to the design toolbar toolbox if you see here the design toolbox what kind of circuit you are designing that will be displayed in this design toolbox now this toolbars whatever you are shown in the multi sim has movable toolbars located on the top and side of the screen so if you see here these toolbars are movable i can change from one place to other place that is what uh, the interesting feature of your multi sim now if you see here this is a standard toolbar whatever you are seeing here that is new open a file save the file print a file zoom in etc this is called a standard toolbar and you can also see the view toolbar which can be easy to view your design like zoom in zoom out etc now the other one what i was saying about the component toolbar is the component toolbar uh, sorry component toolbar where i can use the different types of components which are there in this one so which are required for my circuit so that place the components such as source base elements etc and next one is the main toolbar this is the toolbar which is used to simulate your design so in this if you see here there is a play button which is run the simulation after finishing of your designing process this button if i press it will be simulating the circuit whatever you have designed and the other button whatever you are seeing here this is the stop button which is used to stop the simulation and that uh, simulate only will uh, the simulation only works when there are no errors in your circuit so now as is shown in the right hand side of my circuit uh, circuit window uh, there is one more uh, toolbar that is nothing but the component uh, toolbar that is the function generator oscilloscope instrument toolbar and multimeter and so on there are so many other uh, laboratory equipments which are uh, shown uh, in the electronics lab that are, uh, are displayed here so draw a simple circuit now we would like to show this one how to draw a small circuit and uh, how to simulate uh, the circuit uh, so to that to place the components on the window you can go for the component toolbar in that component toolbar if you go to the components uh, then click on the components toolbar then browse for the part 
click place on the menu bar select the component then browse the for the components. So, what I am doing here is I am selecting a component and uh, and after placing that one just here place the source. So, click the place source button on the component bar if it is on you can place the components. Now, once you select that one after that the components belongs to which category either AC power or DC power or ground or whatever it is from that after selecting that one now choose the DC power and click OK. So, that if I want to go for a DC power then if I click OK here then the DC power will be selected. So, now I want to go for a ground for example, <coughs> that is power source the ground if click ground then click OK it will give a ground symbol in your circuit window and like that the indicators under group click on the uh, drop down arrow and click the indicators this is the source. If I click on the source I will be all these components will be displayed in that if you want to go for the indicator you will be uh, if you select the indicator it will be selected. Now, choose the virtual lamp under uh, family like virtual lamp there are only one lamp which is available. Now, if I click OK this virtual lamp will be selected. Now, after selecting all the components if click OK and place the parts on the circuit window that is what each and every component will be uh, displayed in the circuit window. Once they are displayed once the required amount of elements whatever you are getting uh, you can uh, close this component uh, uh, window by clicking on close option then all the components like DC power supply ground and lamp is kept on the circuit window. Now, what I would like to do is simply I want to frame a small circuit with a switch uh, to operate a lamp. Now, I am taking a small switch here. So, SPST switch I am taking. Now, I have placed the switch here and then after that I am closing this one. So, now arranging all the components in a particular order suppose if it is not arranged properly then click on that particular component such that it turns into blue and that will be able to uh, uh, that can be movable when it is turning into blue and even you can change the specifications of that particular uh, component by right clicking and changing you can change the value and uh, the display value whatever you want. So, now once the components are getting displayed I need to start wiring. So, to begin wi wiring the cursor over the part terminal nothing but the end point uh, notice that the cursor changes shape to indicate uh, that you are starting a wiring. So, whenever suppose if the ground is there here if I bring the cursor here it will be changed into this particular shape and once you click uh, then means click is nothing but the left click if you click uh, then automatically the wiring starts uh, and it continues till your DC power supply again make a single click such that it will end there. Now, you can start the wiring to end the wiring click on other terminal that is what the wiring is done like that continue uh, through or to form a closed circuit. Now, continue wiring click on the top of the source move the cursor to the left switching terminal and uh, click again this should draw a wire connecting to the parts. Continue wiring the circuit until you have a complete circuit. Now, what I did is I have made my complete wiring to make a simple circuit. Now, once the circuit is completed, now I need to find out if there are any errors in the circuit. Then afterwards, uh, I need to go for your uh, simulation. So, first click to start the simulation. So, once the simulation has been started, now what happens is running the simulation. So, once your simulation is running click on the circuit window then press the space bar on the keyboard this will operate the switch. Means, what are the switch which is open it may be closed if you use the space bar. Now, press the space bar on the keyboard again what happens. So, simulation when it is running on the uh, right side bottom most corner you can see this one. If 